Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're bringing our custom design gambrel barn to life in two scales, HO and N scale. We'll start with airbrushing, then we'll dive into assembling each model, so by the end, you'll see both barns fully completed and ready for the layout. If you're interested how to create this model yourself, we've got a step-by-step -step Tinkercad tutorial linked in the description, and be sure to check out our playlist dedicated to all our model assemblies if you're looking for more ideas for your layout. Alright, so as we said before, we're going to be assembling this gambrel barn today in the end scale, not to be confused with the HO scale gambrel barn. I don't have the roof done on it, but we're going to be doing it as well. But what we're going to be doing in the sequence of getting this guy ready is we're going to be uh, taking the gray pieces and getting them off the deck. Then we'll be taping up the barn to make sure it doesn't get any white on it because we'll be doing the white pieces here. All right. Once that dries, we'll come back and we'll do this red and we'll probably pick up this HO one and go ahead and do it red while we got red in the airbrush gun. And then we'll come back to you and put the model together. I want to thank you very much for joining us. We're glad you're here with us. Let's get her ready to rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're and so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Alright everybody, we got the white done, and we're going to come back in, and we're going to do both barns in a burnt sienna, burnt sienna and red mixture. And so I'm going to tape up all the this white, and then we'll do red. Right, everybody we want to thank you for remaining here with us through the introduction and we're getting ready to assemble this guy right now um, what we did is we we do have it in a couple different colors here um, we've got your N scale one here your HO scale one here and the reason why this is uh, red 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 because that's what AJ said it should be like and this one right here is a little bit closer to it's got up some red tint in it but it's a little bit closer to the sawmill color because this is going to be Uncle John's barn that's going to go up by his sawmill and so Uncle John is a thrifty person and so I'm sure what he did is just use the remaining paint from the sawmill to paint his barn right and so this will kind of match that sawmill and kind of fit in up there where it's going so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and do the HO scale one first 
am an in-scale modeler, but I sure do enjoy putting together models in the um, HO scale. Now I am going to go ahead and, and do a disclaimer. I'm going to start doing um, from N, Z, and T. These windows here will be on the, the barn already. And the reason why is because when I try to pull these off in N scale off the raft, I mean, they looked great, but they shot across the room. And I'm, I have a lot of practice removing things from the rafts. And so the customers will have a lot of, probably a lot of trouble with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do N, Z, and T. These two windows will go ahead and be on. Um, this is not, but probably in Z scale, that'll be on. All the accessories are going to be on the wall um, on Z and T. And there you have it everybody, both the HO and N scale versions of the Gamble Barn are assembled and ready for action. If you'd like to add one of these barns to your own layout, keep an eye on our shop where they'll be available soon. Check the description for more details. Don't forget to explore our Tinkercad tutorial and assembly playlist link below where you can find more designs and models for your model railroad. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more builds.